Hey everybody, Larry Vella here. I'm Abe. And we are talking Star Wars Legion today. We have uh, two Commander expansion packs today that we're going to be going over. The first uh, two uh, expansion packs that have come out since the initial launch of the game. We have uh, Leia Organa and General Veers. Alright, Abe. Who's first? Alright, well, let's get into Leia here first. Uh, so this is going to be the dun, first dun, dun. Rebel expansion pack uh of the game that's not that didn't come in the core box except flip this uh, over. well since, since the initial release that's correct um, so we did get the the airspeeder originally so uh, this is going to come with one plastic miniature that's going to be Leia uh, her unit card her three command cards her three upgrade cards and then twelve assort, assorted tokens and a rule sheet all right let's open this thing up yeah, see what we got dun, 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 dun. Uh, so this is going to be this is exciting this is they're really expanding the game here and bringing us some new commanders and new command cards uh, and all right there first we off go. we've got the Leia miniature here let's take a wrap so this is going to be a that's just a base yep so no, the normal there. normal infantry trooper base and then here we've got the Leia miniature comes in three parts mm-hmm uh, with the uh, body, head, torso, and everything there, and then individual arms. So there's her arm with the blaster. There's her body and head. Mm -hmm. And got that for you. There's her extra hand. There you go. Uh, and you can actually kind of just press it all together. Snap it together, like with a lot of the Legion and FFG models, uh, it does want some uh, some glue to stay forever. Um, oops. But there you go. Uh, this is clearly the kind of Endor Commando Leia. Like that. Uh, running forward there right with her there. with her blaster pistol. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it's a pretty cool little model. So there's the miniature. Yeah. Now we're going to take a look at uh, this guy. What do we have here? We have our. So that's just a, a component sheet list with some rules. On What's it. in there? How to put yeah. the model together? It is a three-part model. You should be able to figure that out. All right. Every leaf. This is standard. Yep. Uh, uh, contents sheet. And then here is what you want. That yeah. we've all been waiting for. There's that. So these are just generic tokens. Nothing new. Nothing particularly new here, uh, except for of course the proof of purchase token. Okay. Um, so if you want to keep all your proof, proof of purchase tokens for <laughs> your collection. Uh, you got a new one there. All right, so now we're gonna lay all these cards out, and we're gonna let Abe go through them. Right. Okay, so there's the four. These are the four. Um, put these right there. And all then right. We're gonna get these, and then we have three little upgrade cards. That's one, two, and three. Yeah. All right, so let's move these up this way. Uh, here we've got the generic Leia, the Leia card. She is a commander. Uh, she does see the single infantry trooper. She's 90 points, which makes her much cheaper than Luke, so a good budget commander for the Rebellion. Uh, and then she's got some upgrades. She's got some rules and some upgrade slots uh, that make her pretty, pretty flexible. Um, she's got two of these kind of command upside slots and one equipment upgrade slot. Uh, she's got some cool special rules herself. She's got the take cover rule. This is an action she can do. She can choose two friendly trooper units within range one of her, and each chosen unit gains a dodge token. So rebel troopers are really efficient if they can dodge because they get to get that back at the end of an attack and she lets you hand out free dodge tokens so your other troopers don't have to waste their actions doing it. Uh, she can also throw uh, dodge tokens on herself using that or Luke or things like that. So she's a pretty good uh, support character there and that combos with Inspire which uh, Inspire 2, she lets you remove two suppression tokens from friendly units at 1 to 2 during her rally step so she can help pull off suppression. Uh, she's also got Nimble uh, and Sharpshooter. So Sharpshooter lets her uh, reduce the defender's cover of enemies. So she basically can entirely ignore uh, enemy cover when she's shooting at them. Because the most she can get is two, and she ignores two levels of cover. Uh, she In combat, she uses her martial arts to punch you in the face. That's a three dice black attack in melee. It's pretty decent. Uh, and then she does have uh, a sporting blaster for shooting. It's a range one to two attack with three black dice and pierce one, uh, which isn't the craziest attack, but it's actually a pretty decent attack when you consider that she has sharpshooter, so the enemy's not going to be getting cover. And then pierce one means as long as she hits something, she's going to do a wound because she ignores one of their successful defenses. Uh, so that, that's actually a pretty nice uh, stat line. She's got six health and two morale. A white defense dice means that she's not the tankiest character. 
Um, so she probably wants to be in cover, dodging, things like that. Uh, she's got two move, and she does have an offensive and a defensive sh surge as well. So that's going to help her out in both of those regards. So overall, uh, not like a mainline combat character like you've got with Luke or Vader, but a good support character and much cheaper if you want to put more into your uh, infantry or things like that. Uh, she does come with some upgrades, so she comes with an equipment upgrade here. This is environmental gear. I think this is standard for pretty much everything, and the wave is coming with this. Uh, you can see this is kind of a Hoth gear. Uh, basically, you gain unhindered, uh, so you don't take effects in difficult terrain, so you can move through difficult terrain fairly, which is which is a nice upgrade to have around. Uh, lots of units come with this, and lots of units can take it now, so that's great for all your other rebels. Uh, then she's got two kind of commander upgrades that some of the command cards can take. Uh, one of them is commanding presence. Uh, this is going to be a ten command point, a ten point card, and when you're issuing orders, you can issue orders out to range four, uh, which extends the range on orders, which is nice. Uh, it's kind of expensive, and not as good as Luke's battle meditation, which lets him issue to anyone he wants. <laughs> but that's the force for you. It cheats. Uh, and then she's got esteemed leader, which is a great card for your commanders, uh, especially kind of squishier ones like Leia. Uh, this is, says while you're defending, each friendly uh, core trooper unit at range 1 gains Guardian 1, which is when a friendly unit at range 1 is defending against a ranged attack, you may cancel up to one hit result. For each result canceled, roll one of your defense dice, uh, convert surges, and suffer one wound for each blank result. So basically she can put off you know, hits to friendly troopers nearby, so they can take the shots for her, kind of a lookout sir kind of mechanic, uh, which is a really helpful thing for these uh, kind of weaker characters so that they're not just going to get shot. Uh, it point out that it does say hit, not crit, so crits will still get through. But put her in cover and have some troops nearby, she's basically going to be immune to normal hits against her. Now let's take a look at these three. Yeah, so she does come with three commander cards, and this is part of the reason you're going to take any commanders to get access to these. Uh, the first one is a one-pip card. It's coordinated bombardment, so this is a fast one. Uh, at the end of Leia's activation, she may perform up to three attacks against different enemy units using the following weapon. It's a range four to infinity, two red dice, and immunity to deflection. So it's not the craziest attack ever, um, and it does have a minimum range on it, but it does. she does get three of them, and with a one pip, she can use this to go first, and then use her, and she has to activate herself, so she can hopefully activate first, uh, use Take Cover and Inspire on her friendly troopers to clear them of negative status effects as well as putting them in cover and then pin some enemy troops down with her bombardment. So it's a pretty nifty little ability there. Um, she's got No Time for Sorrows, which is her two pip card. She can activate two friendly trooper units or give orders to two trooper units with it. Uh, and it says, one, a friendly trooper unit is issued in order and may perform a speed one move. Uh, which, so this is pretty nice. You can get some extra movement out of all your troopers. Uh, and it doesn't seem to mean that only when the troopers are activated from this or, or given orders from this particular thing. So I believe it affects all of your troopers, not just the two that are ordered um, through this. So that's a cool way to get some extra movement uh, and save actions if you need to. Uh, and then finally, she's got her three pip card, which is somebody has to save our skins. She can activate herself or order herself and two additional units. Uh, and then after her activation, you may choose a friendly unit at range 1 to 2 with a face-up order token and activate it. So she gets to activate, and then she can immediately interrupt the turn flow to activate a second unit. So normally in Legion, you alternate activations between your units and the enemy. This one lets her skip that order and put two in a row, which is a very powerful. Re real. That, is, yeah. that is super good. Uh, and, and notice, of course, that she can order two units, not two trooper units. So that can be any two units. Right. Now, this is a three-pip card, so you're probably not going to get to go first. Right. But if your opponent goes first... You can then activate two units in a row and get the jump on them, or if they also put a three pip card down, right. you might go first and get to go twice before they can do anything. So that's a really powerful uh, ability of hers, and one of the main reasons I would think that you'd want to take Leia is to get access to that particular card. Um, so that's pretty much uh, the Leia Organa expansion here. All right, now we're going to move on to General Veers. <laughs> All righty, we are back with General Veers. Concentrate all four. But, oh, that's the wrong person. That's the, 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 oh, I forget oh, it. It's, what does he say? Just, when, just, just, we're just moving on. We're all right, we're moving on. on. We're moving on. All right, we're going to blow up the shield generator. And that's what on. I'm trying to say. We're going to blow right. up the shield generator. Uh, so right. Veers is the new uh, Imperial general here. Uh, he all is right. uh, the counterpart to Leia. 
Uh, his box is going to come with a similar number of things, one okay. ears. So first off, there's a base. It's great. We're taking that away. Yep. It's a base. We know what that is. Okay. Uh, then we've Next, got Veers himself. We're going to put that to the side real quick, yeah. and we'll go over his instruction card right here. So Veers is actually a four-part model. He has four, one extra part than Leia. Yeah. There he is, and there's all the, the all the all, all the tokens that come with him. There mm -hmm. you go. Every Star Wars Legion comes with that. Now let's go over General Veers yeah. himself and take his miniature out of here. So Veers is the uh, general in command of the ground operations on Hoth, uh, one of the famous Imperial generals. He's there we go. Generally, you can see four, and then I'm going to attempt to put him together while Abe is discussing what yeah. he does. So he, he's generally the officer you see in the AT-AT, uh, commanding the attack. Mm -hmm. uh, on Echo Base on Hoth, though he is a famous Imperial commander outside of that. Uh, and this, because there are no ATSTs in the, AT in the game currently, uh, he is on foot. Uh, he's got him down and dirty with it. So he comes with kind of his classic uh, Imperial Army breastplate and helmet, as well as a nice blaster. Uh, and he comes in a head and two arms and his body. And, and he goes together approximately like that. Yeah, so you All can right, see. So. Here is General Veers, as you can see. So he's going to go. He's got his little tunic. He's got his armored helmet. Mm -hmm. He looks very commander-like. He has his pistol. It's kind of an interesting-looking pistol. And he has a little... That's a, kind of a beefy-looking yeah, pistol. Yeah, definitely. Right he's got his little power pack on the back. All right. General Veers. Yeah. And his goggles, of course. Very important. Yes, because you have to have totally awesome goggles. Mm-hmm. So Veers is, in many ways, a counterpoint to Leia, just like Luke and Vader mirror each other in the initial set. Uh, these are both going to be, he's also a uh, not mainline combat character like Vader, but more of that support character. Um, again, we have we've got his, uh, his, his tokens. tokens that he comes there with. There we go. As you were saying, there we go. Proof of purchase. He has an imperial sim. His order. Put that over. And everything standard right there. Yeah. Put that I'm, in the way. I'm happy that they give you more wound tokens with all the characters. <laughs> then, what you all are waiting for, the card. Let me get Ooh. these all nice and organized. we got his one pip power, his two pip power, his three pip power, put those right there, you guys can look at those, and then we have his actual card, right here, General Veers, and then he comes with three upgrade cards. Alright, Abe, All right. Right. tell me what are we looking at here yeah. with General Veers? So Veers is an 80 point commander for Star Wars Legion for the Imperial uh, faction. Uh, means he's less than half the cost of Vader, so definitely the cheaper option if you want to focus more on just taking hordes of stormtroopers or being like an army instead of Darth Vader supporting bodyguard. True. Uh, he is not the one that you're going to get into crazy combat. He's going to be back supporting. Uh, he comes with two command upgrades and a gear upgrade, just like Leia, and you'll see a lot of similarities between these. Uh, in fact, the three upgrade cards he comes with are the same ones that Leia has the command presence, the esteem leader, and the environmental gear card. So again, we're seeing that uh, FFG is trying to not make you have to buy every uh, box in these sets. They're, they're coming out with, with cards in each wave that you can buy. If you just want to buy Imperials, you're going to be fine. You'll get everything you need to run your Imperials. Uh, Veers himself has some pretty cool abilities. He's got Spotter 2, which is an action he can take. He can choose up to two friendly units at range 1, and each unit gains an aim token. Uh, so Stormtroopers have the precise rule, so they are better when they get to aim. They get to reroll three dice instead of two, but unfortunately they lose the option. They can't move and aim and fire, so Veers is going to give you better economy when you're using your Stormtroopers to go around, uh, especially if you give them scopes. With Veers, they can move and fire using the aim token and reroll four of their dice, which is a pretty cool combo. Uh, he's also got the Inspire rule, which lets him pull off some suppression tokens on Stormtroopers nearby him. Uh, he's got Precise 1, which again makes him better when he's aiming too. Uh, and then he's got Sharpshooter 1, which lets him, uh, when he's doing a range attack, he can remove the, ignore the enemy's cover by 1. Um, he's not great in combat himself. He's got his uh, combat expertise, which is a 2 black dice melee attack. Uh, so he can fight in melee, but probably keep him out. Uh, and then he does have his E11 Blaster Rifle which is a 1 to 3 attack, which has 3 white dice and a pierce 1. So, not particularly uh, accurate. White dice are the worst offensive dice, though if he can time, if he does take an aim, uh, for instance, giving himself one of those spotter 1 commands with precise, he will get to reroll 3 dice. And 
having having Pierce and Sharpshooter is going to help him. He can probably reliably kill one enemy target a turn, kind of thing. One enemy infantry. Uh, he does have a red defense dice, which is going to make him a lot more defensive. Though he doesn't have a defensive surge, he does have an offensive surge, so he converts uh, surges to hits or to crits. Um, he's got five health and two morale, so uh, weaker than Leia in terms of raw hit points, but he does have a better defense dice. And then he's got movement two, which sets him apart from the slow Vader with his movement of one and makes him the fastest Imperial character in the game. That we've seen able, so far. Yeah, able to leap across the battlefield easily. You know, it's like only a matter of time until we see a commander on a on a speeder bike. Oh, a speeder bike. Oh, yeah, I definitely There's going to be someone so. who's yeah. like really fast. Uh, I think that... Uh, I'm betting Boba Fett can do something with his jump. Oh, yeah, right? he'll be fast, he'll be fast. Uh, and then, of course, we do have his command cards, which is another great reason you're going to want to take Veers. So he does have maximized firepower, and you'll notice this is kind of a counterpoint to Leia's uh, bombardment card. Mm -hmm. It is a one-part card, one-pip card, so very fast. You activate General Veers with it, and at the end of General Veers' activation, he can perform an attack using the following weapon. It is, again, a four to infinity attack, but this one has four red dice, impact two, and immunity to deflect. So That's a is, solid attack. This is a very solid attack. <laughs> that is solid. Uh, it's important to point out, both for his and for Leia's ability, uh, they both have sharpshooter, and that affects this attack because they are the ones making it. So it will get to ignore some of the enemy's cover should they have it. Uh, and this is a pretty good, uh, you know, putting some damage onto, an, onto a vehicle attack. Uh, and great for using early game when the enemy's far away. Uh, he also has evasive mean maneuvers. This is his two pip card. He can activate two vehicles, so he's much more of a vehicle commander. Uh, and then when the friendly vehicle is issued an order, it gains one dodge token. Friendly units can spend dodge tokens to cancel crit results. So that makes sense because normally vehicle armored vehicles already ignore all crits, so spending or all hits. So spending tokens to get rid of hits isn't, isn't that great for them, but giving them free dodge tokens. Uh, to, can, pretty much makes him a lot more survivable there, so that's great. Uh, and finally, he has his three pip command, which is Imperial Discipline. It says General Veers and two units, again, any units. Uh, when a friendly unit is issued an order, it may recover. So, this is a really powerful ability. So, recover is an action you can take to recover any of your expended cards. Uh, so this is really great for the Imperials who happen to have, say, the missile launchers that you have to expend to use, weapons like that. Uh, even you can use it on Vader and have him, he, since he is a unit you could order, uh, and have him recover all of his force powers if he had used a bunch of force powers, anything like that. Uh, it, does, it has other abilities aside from that, or other benefits, but recover is a great ability, but it does take an entire action. So anytime you're giving your guys extra actions, that's going to be really great and powerful. And now you can recover aim and fire in the same turn say with your missile launchers uh, so that's a really great ability for veers that plays into his support role and helps him just be a better general for his units uh, and that's it for veers here all right guys those are our two new uh commanders uh, leia organa and general veers for legion and thanks for watching yeah click to subscribe check out more videos and thanks for watching.